a Suzuki. Yeah, I know. But don't worry. Although it's small, just 660cc, it does have a turbo. That means it's got 80 horsepower, which isn't a lot, and 79 foot-pounds of torque. It sends that power through a Suzuki gearbox, same as the engine, out of a K car, actually, to the back, where it should, and it has a live rear axle. It's the first time that Caterham's had a live rear axle since about 2003. Couple all that with the fact that these wheels and tyres would look more appropriate on a small trailer. And it doesn't sound particularly appetising. There's not much in the way of amenities in here either, as you can probably tell. infotainment screen, no power steering, no cup holders, hell it doesn't even have doors. Then there's the roof, or lack of. I haven't got it on this particular car, but I'm told by its owner that it's more of a camping holiday. Let's just say it's not as good as the MX-5 and all that is an option. The roof, the sort of doors, the windscreen, the heater, these are things you've got to pay extra for. You get it on something called the S-Pack, that's what Caterham calls it, but then it starts to be a bit fruity in the old pricing department. The base price of this car in the UK is £19,995. With the S-Pack, that price skyrockets to £23,490. And that's a lot for something like this. It's actually closer to the Caterham 220. So far then, it's not looking good. The total lack of any amenities, and I, I mean any, does have its upsides though. It means this car is light very light. The dry weight, according to Caterham, is 490 kilograms. That's insane! 490 kilograms! My Lotus, Elise, is 852 kilograms, and that's not exactly a Bentley, is it? The lack of weight means that despite very few horses under the bonnet, only 80 as said before, it's definitely got a kick to it! Not to 60, but it's acclaimed 6.9 seconds! Top speed, 100 miles an hour, although I don't think I'd want to go anywhere near that quickly. 30 miles an hour is terrifying enough. As for the steering, while it's not quite as good as it is in my Lotus, but then again I wouldn't expect it to be, as it's not power assisted, there's no sort of electronic trickery going on. You stick it into a corner, you know where the front wheels are. Vague. Stick it into 